I've just been to collect my old man, Mr. 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 Burns. Um, I'm just outside, not just past the creme. Um, I accidentally called the guy, Chris, that works there, Toots. I was actually, I walked in, I was going to the toilet and um, I walked in, there's a wee pup, the lady that works there has got a wee pup called Sprout. And uh, I was like, oh, hi Toots, and didn't realise Chris was standing, he was like, oh, hi Toots. <laughs> slightly familiar so <laughs> yeah just making a slight creep on myself in the creme um but yeah Mr. Mr. Burns it's just such a weird feeling to that someone was there and then they're just a box of ashes but that's how it goes um it's been quite a day um I'm glad I've got them and I'm glad I'm bringing them home and part of me is you know all the bird folk are there and um I wish I'd had time, they're scattered in the garden, I wish I'd had time, but I was quite late because today's been quite a day. Um, I was just getting ready to come, Kerry's looking after everyone in the day, and I was just getting ready to leave and go to the post office and away and everything, and Karen came to the door, she volunteers with us, and she came to the door with a wee rabbit who she found at the side of the road with fairly early stage myxomatosis. Um, eyes are kind of gluey but her nose seems to be okay um, and she's still quite a good weight she's not really lost too much weight and stuff so she's hopefully still been eating um, so I had to then arrange for her to go up to Alison who looks after all the wild folk um, because sometimes like there's a protocol um, for trying to save the folk with Mexico and they, they quite often like, you know they, they can survive it's not guaranteed in any way because like Mexo is one of those things that you just think like humans have got this utterly unique capacity to cause the most suffering the most suffering they possibly can like it it's utterly horrific what myxomatosis does to them and you, it, it really it, you just look at it and you think like millions m millions and millions and most probably billions of them have suffered like this and it is the most grotesque disgusting man-made thing that just epitomizes how fucking degenerate we really can be um so anyway uh, i had to cancel coming to the creme because i had to get her up to allison and then I went to, just as all this was happening, I, th I was getting stuff ready and get my bag down off the coat hook. And I put Kay in the hall because I had to go in and see Twinks and Bambi. And I have to go through the kitchen door and Kay can't be in with them. So I had to put her in the hall. And I'd completely forgotten that there was one of those Costa slices, you know, like the, it was like a Rocky Road or something like that, but it's dark chocolate. Completely forgot that that was in there. Um, went into the kitchen for like two minutes, came back out and she'd wolfed a lot. So I had to rush her to the vet. Here she is, she's sleeping it off. Oh dear. I had to rush her to the vet, she's still awful sleepy, um, to get diamorphine and make her sick, which is horrific. I feel absolutely fucking awful. Like I've, I've done, I think this is like the third time I've had to do this in however long, but still that like, you just think that momentary lapse in concentration, I just had no idea it was even in there. So anyway, she was, she had the diamorphine and she was sick as a wee dog, but she brought it all back up again. I got some bloods done while she was there just to make sure everything's working okay because I was a wee bit worried. So she's got kind of gastric reflux again, but pancreas, liver, kidneys, everything are okay. So thank goodness. Um, so And then somebody met me in CD to take the we rab it up to Alison, which meant that I could then come to the creme and get it all done in one day. So it's just been one of those days, like everything happening at once. But um, yeah, it's been quite a week. Like um, I've really felt the emotion of it this week, and my heart's been kind of heavy this week. I've been just tired and um, really feeling it. But I just want to say thanks so much because. Um, reading everyone's comments. I know I don't always get a chance to reply, but I do read everything. Um, most of the time it's just because I've got, I, I, I want to, but I just I, I have to do all the admin that keeps everything going. And, um, you know, I've been kind of feeling it this week, like feeling a bit, I don't want to go into like trauma dump and TMI and all that kind of stuff, but it does, especially I think thinking about my, like the illness and how much life's changed and just haven't done it alone for so long like obviously I've had my mum and dad and stuff and now I've got you know I've got really good friend Kerry and Wendy and um you know it but there is part of me that just feels 
quite alone sometimes. Um, especially when it's emotional things like this, you know, it's it does sometimes get a wee bit hard. You do, you know. But I get. I mean, I, I, it's a path you walk alone. This and that's fine. You know, most of the time it's fine. Um, just every now and again, when my heart gets kind of heavy, that it's a wee bit harder to be on my own. But um, as I say, it's just the way it is. But having everybody, um, you know, have, reading everyone's comments and knowing how much it means to you, like this doesn't come easy. I don't particularly enjoy sitting here doing this. <laughs> um, but then I suppose you see some of the shit that people put out. It's no worse than that. So um, maybe it is. Who knows? That's not for me to decide. <laughs> but um, it does mean so much, and it's really got me through a hard week to know that, like your, like what people say, and um, it, it just means so so much, and it makes me feel a lot less alone, and um, that there is a point to all of this, <laughs> um, which I kind of know there is. Like there must be, there must be a point to having been been so ill and having got better and um when so many people don't and that's a big thing to cat you know it's a big guilt i suppose like um when i know how you know there's people who are on this page who are so dear to me i've never met you but you're so dear to me and um they go through so much and suffer so much and um i just want you to be better and um I hope that by sharing it and doing this and talking about this, it can help people in whatever way it helps. Um, even if it just helps one person get through a day a wee bit easier, then what else have we got? I mean, we're a degenerating shit show, a rapidly degenerating shit show, and we only really have each other. And I do feel like with the hospice and what we've created here, it's, you know, it's, it's a wee community and... I just want people to know how much that means to me. Whatever you are in the world, whoever you are, however it means, whatever it means, um, it means a lot to me that it makes any difference because it's it's why I survived. <laughs> it's the only thing that it's the only thing that matters really is to now help each other because we're in a really dire way and um, yeah. Anyway. Getting a wee bit emotional now. It's just been a, it's been one of those weeks, and then sitting here with who used to be a person and now in a box is, well, I know a lot of you have been there. So, anyway, thanks so much, everybody, and um, yeah, let's just we keep going. So, lots of love for me and this wee too who's still awful sleepy, but thank goodness she's okay. okay. <laughs>